thing that I really enjoyed using in my classroom um, were some different techniques, uh, cooperative learning techniques, um, uh, different questioning techniques. And there's one company that I found um, really, really had some great products that I used a lot of, and that is Kagan. And so Kagan's going to come and talk to you today. Well, thank you very much, and good afternoon again. Um, I want to tell you that my name is David Jones, and I'm a full-time public school principal down in Sarasota County, so about uh, an hour and a half away from here. Also, I'm a national trainer with Kagan. And having said that, I want to make a statement that I think everyone in this room will probably agree with me. And it's a simple statement. If kids are not engaged, they're not going to be learning. You know, if your eyes are glazed over right now, and uh, of course, being on the Oprah show that this has been, <laughs> You're probably not too glazed over right now. But if they were, uh, you probably wouldn't be picking up anything that I, was, that I were to say right now. Well, my first year of teaching was many years, almost 25 years ago. And it was in the inner city of Los Angeles. And at that point, I knew that kids needed to be engaged. But my definition was pretty low. I figured if the kids were smiling at me and there was some nodding going on, I had engagement. Of course, uh, it took me a few years to realize that most of those kids were probably thinking, yeah, I am having pizza tonight. <laughs> so uh, there's a lot of things that Kagan Publishing does and, and professional development, but everything has a central motif. Everything comes around this tenet, and that is that it's all about engagement. That's really what it boils down to. So let me ask you a question. What is engagement? Now, I'm using this for an illustration. I just asked a question. I am with award-winning teachers here. And I had three hands go up in the air. You did get a lot of this. That's right. Are you serving pizza tonight? I did that for a reason. I didn't expect hands to go up, and I can assure you that if I were sitting in the audience right now, mine would not have gone up either. But it brings us back to how it feels as students sometimes. Now, why didn't your hand go up? Was it because maybe the guy up here is asking a trick question? Uh, is it because we're on television? Whatever it is, there's a multitude of reasons, but the same thing happens in our classroom. And yet we need to have kids engaged. That's so critical for what we're doing. And I want you to take a look at something. Take a look at this picture here. One of the things that I could do is I could continue having a dialogue by asking a question, calling on one person, getting an answer, and maybe I would make a response back, call on another person and whatnot. Well, back in the day, uh, I used to have 42 students in a classroom for a 45-minute period. Now, if I were to continue on that dynamic, not too many kids are going to get engaged. And so I heard about this amazing discovery. It was so cool. It was called Popsicle Sticks. And I wrote each of my kids' names on a Popsicle Stick, and I would pull the name out. And that way I could guarantee that at least I had some sort of equal participation. Now, how about if instead I had you look at this picture and I said, turn to a partner. And what I want you to do is list back and forth, back and forth, one attribute at a time, some observations about this picture. What do you notice about it? Now, in doing that, a couple things would happen very, very quickly. Number one, instead of me calling on 1 30th of my class at a time, 50% of you would be talking at any given moment. We'd be going back and forth. Well, that's the simplest of the Kagan structures. It's simply called a rally robin, and we do that all the time. The other thing that I think would happen if I were to do that is you would probably admit looking at that picture, one of your observations would be these kids are definitely engaged. Another picture, these, by the way, those were middle school students. Here's some high school students. Please notice that what you see these kids interacting with are pieces of paper. In the previous slide, it was a whiteboard. Nothing fancy here, but the kids fully, fully engaged. So let's do that drawing. Let's do the drawing. Let's see. And I have to say that I was so sold out on Kagan that I, as a TEC rep at my school, I can't get to see you. At this, if
does work and has to, okay, they're good. Um, arranged for, I used our TEC fund to arrange for a Kagan person, uh, trainer to fly in and train our entire school on Kagan. It is really that wonderful. All right, pick somebody. All righty, good luck to all of you. And again, look at that website and uh, I think you'll find a lot on there. The winner of the package is Cheryl Hovan. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Congratulations, Cheryl. Thank you for your time. And Cheryl, I'll connect with you in just a minute. Thank you so much. All right. Again, Kagan is great. And again, all these companies that we reached out to, they were all so willing to help you. Um, but again, I, these are ones that I've used in my classroom, so I know they work. And if they work for me, they're going to work for you.